Bangladesh will appoint lobbyists for the interest of the country wherever necessary, said Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Moment today. It is an American practice. We had appointed lobbyists in 2013-14. They work. Institutionally, we will do appoint lobbyists when it is necessary, he said at a conference at the Bangladesh Institute of Law and International Affairs, Bilia, Auditorium in the capital. The International Conference on Law and Legal Education during and post-pandemic was jointly organized by Bilia and the Asian Association of Law Professors. The issue of appointing lobbyists came up after the U.S. sanctioned Rapid Action Battalion and seven of its current and former top officials in relation to human rights violations, including extrajudicial killings and enforced disappearances. Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud today described the U.S.-based Human Rights Watch, HRWS latest statement on Bangladesh as one-sided, unacceptable, and politically motivated. After reading this, it seems that someone from Bangladesh might have drafted it and they, HRW, only published it after retouching, nothing else, he said. The existence of these types of organizations is good. But if the organization gives statements for serving the interests of individuals and for political purposes by taking information from individuals of different countries, it makes the organization questionable, he said. Hassan, also a WAMI League Joint General Secretary, said this while replying to questions from journalists at his Minto Road residence in Dhaka. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres on Thursday urged the United States and the World Bank to unfreeze Afghan funds, locked since the Taliban's return to power, to prevent the nightmare unfolding in Afghanistan from getting worse. We must rapidly inject liquidity into the economy and avoid a meltdown that would lead to poverty, hunger and destitution for millions, Guterres told reporters in New York. Popular actress Ashna Habib Bhavna who recently got appreciation from the viewers for acting in Lal Mirajar Chudi, shared a beautiful snapshot with renowned actor Fertis from the sets of their upcoming movie, Dampera. The movie, which wrapped up shooting recently, is directed by Shadiman Choyton. While sharing her feelings Bhavna wrote on her Facebook page, he is such an amazing person and a great co-actor, I'm already missing him. Lionel Messi said on Thursday he needs more time to recover before playing again after contracting COVID-19 earlier this month. Paris Saint-Germain star Messi, 34, tested positive while on holiday in his hometown of Rosario before flying back to the French capital on January 5. The seven-time Ballon d'Or winner has missed two PSG matches while in self-isolation. As you know I had COVID and I wanted to thank you all for the messages I received, Messi posted on Instagram.